Penberth he takes. He's got McAfee with him. Looking to make ground, but held up on the halfway line. Good tackling by the Pirates. And the referee penalised the Pirates. So Darren Barry perhaps penalised for that, Will? I don't quite see what he was yeah. suggesting, going off their feet. Uh, yeah, he said, he said going off his feet. I mean, it was a great shot by himself and uh, the full Will Carrick Smith. And, um, you know, the shot was dominant, so uh, they ended up on top of him. And uh, obviously, the ref didn't, ref didn't like that. He might be hot on that today. Aaron Pemberthy to try to open the scoring for Jersey. That's a good strike on it. Getting ever closer, and it is over. That's, That's a, great a fine strike. strike. Very good strike. Very good penalty from Aaron Pemberthy to open the scoring for Jersey. Him and his team will be happy with that. I mean, uh, that will settle him into the game nicely. If he if he misses that first one, doesn't quite get the footing right, because I mean, when he goes to plant that foot and strike, he's, he's going to get a lot of slips. I mean, striking a ball like that is for him is going to uh, boost his confidence a lot. As a second row yourself, you can feel that happening. Can you? you can feel what they're trying to do. Yeah, it totally offsets the whole scrum. I mean, um, one for what and another point, it's illegal, and that is a fantastic a drive from the, by the Pirates. But Jersey really healing well. quickly then, they got the ball back quickly, which is what they need to do. They obviously felt they were going backwards, but it was healed very quickly and they have managed to recover. But a great scrum by the Pirates. Yeah, that was a good a good uh, eight-man effort there. Really powerful shove, got them going backwards. And uh, let's just hope that's one of many. Williams again. It's a great nice shot Ray. by Chris Morgan. Chris Morgan. Tackle. Great shot by him, well read. He had to make a decision there whether to come up, and he's read that really well. Jersey did well to maintain possession, though. Drew Locke. Locke uses, loses possession. And Kessel chips ahead. And Pemberthy, as he always used to do for the Pirates, back there covering. And then kicks the touch on halfway. Good covering by the fly half, but good ground made by the Pirates. Yeah, good ground. I mean, it's just this... Loose ball from both sides, and uh, when you're carrying the ball in, it often slips out. I mean, it is so wet and muddy out there. Try and keep a hold of the ball when you're taking contact. It often slips out. It's just like a bar of soap, so we're well, going to see a lot of that today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Joe Buckle looking to get over the ball, but cleared out. He's going to do that a lot today. I mean, he has, uh, he's a good seven, but uh, he's going to try and disrupt as much ball as he can. He's quick over ball. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so No, no, he picked it up. Took Carpenter. It. Um, Penberthy, rather. Penberthy. Caught by the Cornish Pirates. Caught in two minds there, wasn't he? Was. He? Yeah. And Pirates drive onto the try line. We've turned it Ever over. closer. So Aaron Penberthy caught in possession. Pirates have got it up and they're driving on. Kessel to Fatih Lofa. He's lost it. And it went forward, said the referee. Good pressure by the Pirates though on Pemberthy and they've created this opportunity. And Kessel is told to put the ball in. And the Pirates get the shove on. Picked up by McGlone. Drives at Pemberthy. Eventually brought down. Kessel makes a dart himself. Back comes the ball, Pirates side, McGlone again. Having just made one run, he picks it up quickly, makes another. Kessel, Hallett. Well set back by the Pirates. On the 22, Kessel, Barry. Barry does very well to turn, get it back to the Pirates side. Kessel picks up and feeds Hallett. Hallett offloads to Fatia Lofa on the 22. A couple of big hits going in on the Pirates there. Kessel again. Will Carrick-Smith loses it in contact. And Jersey have turned it over on the 22. And Drew Locke decides to put boot to ball. Good footwork. Budilli, brilliant, does really well. Sets it up just outside the 22. Kessel probably knocked that one on and the referee did spot that. I thought the referee had turned away yeah. at that moment, but he obviously did spot I it. I think one of the Jersey, uh, Jersey foot came through then and uh, took it out of uh, Tom Kessel's hands. Yeah. Cheeseman loses it, but McGlone picks up and does very well to feed Badilly. 
who left footed puts it over the head of Grant Pointer, who sticks in the mud and Pointer picks up. Oh, that's, that's a really awful that kick. Picked up by Tom Riley. Has Riley got the pace? He needs support. Does really well. Good offloading by the Pirates. Will Carrick Smith. Will Carrick Smith. Oh, just brought down, just short. I think it's gone backwards. Oh no, referee, referee says it forwards. Has gone forward. Jersey now. I thought Will Carrick Smith was going to go under the post on his day. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> oh. The dream. That a is, dream. That is <laughs> the a dream. dream. Isn't it a dream? That would have been so good. Well taken. Oh. Is that Kyle Moyle? Kyle Moyle, Kyle Moyle yeah, just, yeah, just slipping again. He had a, he had a straight run Carpenter. to the uh, corner Carpenter there. picks up. Does really well to set it back nicely. Pirates go to the blind side again. Padilly, always in the action. Ooh. Darren Barry seems to have picked up a little knock here on his shoulder. He's, uh, he's not holding it right. Oh, he's, he's not, um, his right arm. Seems to be struggling. I don't know where he picked that up from. He might have picked it up back from the mall in the 22, but uh, he's gonna get involved doesn't look again, too though. happy. He's gone there to get involved. Yeah, he's... So. Oh, another penalty to Jersey. Great passage of play by the Cornish Pirates. A lot to commend them there on that, but they've given away a penalty finally and gives Jersey the chance to get away. Yeah. It's, uh, it's good patience, but I mean, uh, you get nervous because the longer this goes on, the more likely there is to be a handling error, especially in the close quarter stuff. You go to pick it up and uh, yeah. it's so easy to spill that ball. So. Around the blind side goes Aaron Carpenter, twisting and turning. That's right on the jersey line now. Referee bends over to look in, see what you can see. It's going to come back. I think it's Ben Prescott and Laurie McGlone pick up and drive towards the line. But again, they're brought down. It's a penalty to the Pirates, an arm out. Good tackling by Jersey, exactly as you called it, Will, that they were penalised for offside around the edges there. And that could be a try. And I think the referee's going to speak to his touch judge. Phil Waters and Jonathan Healy, the touch judges here. From up here, that looked uh, like, like he got over the line. It's it whether he actually got the grounding right. Um, but he was definitely over the line. Going back to the original penalty. The referee's indicated he was knocked on and he's coming back for the penalty. His arm signals there, I think, were pretty good. He indicated a knock on, but he's coming back for the penalty for offside, exactly as you called, Will. So well done. It's a penalty to Pirates and they kick it to touch. So they're going to keep the pressure on Jersey here, right on their line. This is uh, it's going to be key now. It's where the ball boys are going to earn their lollipops. They need to get a dry oh, ball, ball on. The ball's so going uh, down the river here. They're going rapidly down the river. Well, at least it's clean. <laughs> it's I mean, at least it's clean. It's going to end up in Mount's Bay, though, Will. <laughs> got, to, got, got to get a dry ball on for Aaron Carpenter. And, One, and then the boys catch it. Their hands are going to be clogged full of mud after grafting that pick and go. Yeah. Yeah. It's still Pirates nil, Jersey three. As that ball disappears towards Mount's Bay. Good take by Neil Patrick, I think. The replacement second row. And the Pirates have got it up and they're driving. It's a maul. It's going to be very easy for Jersey to bring this down because they'll slide. That's go. over they go. No, I think says no. Said no yeah. Pirates thought they were over it that time, maybe. Yeah. And that time it is a try. Fantastic. And is that Junior Fatih Lofa who came up with the ball? And then it could well be Junior Fatih Lofa. They all look the same for up here at the moment. <laughs> They're so funny. You can't tell who's who. I'm not really sure, but <laughs> Junior Fatih Lofa came up with the ball. Yeah. And so, well, maybe it was. I'm not sure if you've got action replays at home, but if you have, you may be able to see better. Who scored that one? It's good that we converted all that pressure though into points there. That's uh, that's key. We we had to come away with something there. I mean, we had a penalty. It was by the touchline. It would have been a hard kick to go for post. Yeah. Go for the corner, backed our line out, backed our drill uh, in the red zone, and uh, really good work by the boys to convert those into points. That's good. Yeah, Pirates did really well. They scored the try, and they put them into the lead for the first time this afternoon. It's Pirates five, Jersey three. Conversion to come. And Kieran Hallett attempting to convert the try. Oh, what a great conversion. <laughs> that is a fantastic oh, kick. I mean, the conversion. wind really took that. He's curled right round and bounced off the post and in. And, uh, that was touch and go. Fantastic kick by Kieran Hallett there. Really good. It's a fine conversion. And the 
first time that the Pirates have been into the lead. As Pemberthy's restart goes nowhere near where he expected it to go. If you look at the scrum now, Graham Pointer's come in to fly half and Aaron Pemberth has gone onto the far wing. Yeah, I so think... That's a defensive setup from a scrum now. I think uh, Grant's, Grant's just... Uh, uh, Slightly more, more robust tackler. Yeah, Grant's. more of a robust tackler. Um, I mean, so Aaron the Pirates have spotted it. They've gone on the blind side where Aaron Pemberth he was. Tom Kessel, feet out to yes. Kyle Moyle. Is that Kyle Moyle? Yeah, <laughs> it Kyle is Kyle Moyle. Moyle. That one. Really well done. There. Slight yeah. hesitation in my voice, but the Pirates certainly picked out Aaron Pemberthy on the blind side, went blind, and Tom Kessel feeding Kyle Moyle for a well deserved try. Yeah. Boys have done really well. We grafted out a good half, and just to go into half time with two tries now, just, uh, just before we go into half time boost the boys' spirits massively and it will it will put a massive dampener on Jersey's spirits. Really, really good work by the boys to stick it out for the half and get the rewards that we deserve. That's another fine try by the Pirates. Certainly the first one for the forwards, the second one forwards did well to win the ball and then Tom Kessel setting up Carl Moyle to go over in the corner. Current England international Jack Noel coming up at half time as Kieran Hallett attempts to convert again. Off the crossbar and the wrong side of the crossbar. Well, uh, if he had been at Soccer AM, he would have won the crossbar challenge then, I tell been. you that. He would have gone home with, uh, with a lot, of, a lot money, of money, but unfortunately... So a fine attempt by well Kieran Hallett. There. But the Pirates will go into half-time full of confidence after that performance, the last five minutes especially. So, Will, your assessment your first of the first half? Absolutely. I mean, uh, Jersey came out with loads of enthusiasm. Uh, they they've, they've really uh, went through the phases with us. Uh, gave us lots of pressure in R22, but the boys stuck out really well. The defensive effort of the, of the boys was really good, putting in some big shots, forced those turnovers, and um, you know we stuck it out. It was all about sort of weathering the storm, and then when we got our chances, getting up into their 22, and um, you know converting what, what chances we had into into points. Kessel to Hallett, Hallett to Fatia Lofa. Fatia Lofa shrugs off Mark McRae. Fantastic hands in the muddy conditions. Uh, just need to keep Pirates hold of it now. 22, Kessel feeds Fatia Lofa, chips through. Holland's after it, but down goes Burrows. And Fatia Lofa takes him. Five metres out. Holland gets himself away, and Riley comes out as well. So Jersey have possession on their own try line. Good tackling by the Pirates, keeping them there, keeping them penned in. And then Jimmy Williams gets his kick away, but Holland's underneath him. He's got Badilly with him. It's Hallett to Badilly. Got the numbers Badilly's on here. Badilly's got an overlap now. Keep going, hands off. Max oh, Badilly! Oh, well try. played, Max Badilly. What a fine try. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was great. Mobbed by the Pirates players, that's a very fine try on his debut in the championship, scores a try. He identified that really well. He knew he had numbers up, but he also looked in front of him. He was against a prop and um, just used his speed to just go around him, fended him off and uh, they just couldn't deal with the pace. And uh, when I threw what was a, a big hole because the outside defender was more worried about players outside of him. So he's done really well. He could have just sh shift the responsibility yes, on, but I mean, he's yeah. taken that upon himself. I mean, just yeah. a fantastic try. He's done really well. For a youngster, he's only 19. And the cheers from behind the, the post tell us that he's converted it. So this game has really turned around. Yeah, really, really have. I mean, uh, Pirates have a great opportunity now to take Jersey to the cleaners. Uh, we can't just sit back on this now. We have to, we have to, we have to move forward. Um, you know, the boys out there have just have to be hungry for more and more. McAfee is in scrum half, which he takes. So you mentioned that before Will as well. So Yeah, they just stuck the number eight at scrum half. Um, I mean, we know it's coming, uh, the drive. The jersey rumble on towards the Pirates line in that mud in the corner. In come a couple of the backs to help. And over the line they go. Jersey hands go up. The referee says it's held up. So referee Mr. McDonald 
tells Nicky Griffiths to put it in. Former Welsh sevens player, good drive by the Pirates because Jersey are going yes. backwards. And a penalty to the Pirates. That's a great performance by that pack of forwards. Yeah. You'd have been pleased to be in that pack of forwards then. Yeah, well. definitely. I mean, yeah. uh, Shane Cahill's done really well there. He got his man in a difficult position. Uh, he got, got him in a weak position and then um, put the pressure on, lost his footing, went to ground. Penalty to Pirates. He's done really well there. Kieran Hallett gets in a good touch kick. Takes play up to between the 10 metre line and the 22. Pirates TV again in a fortnight here at the Monet. It'll be the London Welsh game. Good line out ball for Jersey. And again, they set up their driving ball. It's held up by the Pirates briefly. And down it goes. That's one, says the referee. Again, so they've got to get it moving again. And they're getting ever closer to the Pirates line. Bodies flying out from all directions here. But it's picked up an open space for Jersey to go over. It's a try for Jersey. The Pirates defence, a big gap was allowed there. Yeah, I think... Uh, for Jersey to go through. The inside defender, Laurie McGlone, pushed off. We usually have an inside defender that sort of fills in there and uh, obviously wasn't there. No. But uh, that, that needs to be communicated if there's no one there. I mean, that close to the line, you can't... So that was Alex stuff. Ray, the Jersey skipper, with that try. So then trying to inspire his team to get back into this game. So it's Pirates 19, Jersey 8, Alex Ray with the try. And the conversion is missed. Miss, yeah. Connor misses the conversion. So it remains 19 8. It's, un, uh, it's unlike him because he is, he is a good goal kicker and he does, does usually knock him, knock him over from all, from all, all, all areas of the pitch, yeah. but uh, he's missed that one. You'd have to be Irish with a name like Niall O'Connor. That's a very good Irish name. So, Jersey line out. They make good ground. Up to the 22. As the wind does pick up, certainly. All of a sudden. <laughs> Jersey doing really well here. Okay, yeah, he's going to give him a penalty. Yeah, yeah. He's going to give them a penalty for that. Even and if. He's going uh, to his pocket. Shane, because the Pirates player is going to end his game prematurely here. And the last Pirates player to get up is probably the one going to get the yellow card. It's, uh, Shane Cahill, maybe? Yeah. Is it sure? Shane Cahill. Shane Cahill. Yeah. Looks around in shock as the referee gets him yellow. This is uh, it's going to make scrummaging interesting. Uh, with oh, no, we got Kieran Davis on the bench. Apologies. Oh, yeah, so we got an out and out loose head on the bench. Yeah. Who, if uh, if a scrum's to happen, then he he will he will cover that. I wonder what those forwards think of the man of the match being announced as a fullback. Look at the state of them here in front of us. <laughs> Chris Morgan rolls well then. No, I think that's the wrong decision there. I mean. Oh. All, uh, I don't think I don't think uh, Jersey got over the wall particularly well there. No. I think no. Chris was doing some good work on the ground. Um, obviously, he was by himself; he was exposed, so he put in that extra work on the ground to uh, bide himself some time yeah, for the, for the yeah. support. But I think I think he's been hard done by there. And they take it well. So the 14 men and the Cornish Pirates looking to try and hold out here against Jersey. The scoreboard behind says Pirates 19, Jersey 8. And they keep rolling it on. Because there's only seven Pirates forwards in there probably. 
in come another of the Jersey backs to add extra weight. And the referee's actually going under the bar for a penalty try. The Pirates were going backwards there at a rate of knots. And that will give Jersey a losing bonus point. Taking it to ground. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a bit, disapp <laughs> bit disappointing. The boys won't be happy with that. <coughs> uh, Very difficult to stop in these conditions, though. It will. is difficult to stop, I mean, but. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, disappointing that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's Pirates 19, Jersey 13 with the conversion to come. And I can't imagine there's going to be much more. In fact, there probably isn't any more of the game as Jersey have got together there in the 22. They've not come back to halfway. So. Yeah, I'll imagine this will be time. And that is exactly it. It's Pirates 19, Jersey 15, the final score. And Jersey will perhaps be pleased with a losing bonus point out of that. Yeah, I think they will. Um, uh, especially after they came out of the second half, obviously, come, then, then going three tries down, for them to come back and get a losing bonus point, they'll be happy with that. Um, and I think in terms of uh, a Pirates point of view, happy to get back to winning ways.